Hi there, this is a quick lesson in how to use bleed and trim in InDesign. Um, bleed in is very important because if we don't have proper bleed, we, we often have a job that doesn't look very good. You end up getting white around the edge of the page, and I'll just explain why. You can see in InDesign here, it shows you the outlines of the page. This is just an A6 card, and I'm using a photo of myself and my son. Um, you can see at the moment, the photo is less than the size of the page. Now, if you want to actually create, take that photo to the edge of the page, or even like this in the corner, if you leave it like that, that when you actually cut it down, you will get variation. You will show some white along the edge, or you'll cut too far. With the printer, the guillotine operator will need to cut too far into the photo to avoid showing white, and you'll lose some image, maybe my head or something like that. So what you need to do is add bleed at this stage of the creation, and what that means is just taking the image over the edge of the page. And you can see here. So I center that uh, there, or roughly there. You can see that it's. Um, just, no, I won't bother getting too picky, pernickety about that. But you can see here that the fo the photo, the edge of the photo, actually extends past the paper, the edge of the paper, the edge of the card. That's the final size of the item we're creating. Now, if you were doing a, um, an image box or something like that, and you also wanted to have that running over the edge of the page, you would, I'll just drop a colour in there so you can see it, um, you would, uh, just do that, sorry, I'm not the greatest in design, so you would also have this running over the edge of the page as well. It doesn't need to match up the same, but it still needs to run over the edge of the page. Now, to create the bleed, to actually create the PDF that we need to print from, with the trim marks, you do it like this. You go to File, Export, Find a File Location. You give the, fo the, you know, the file a name, Test Photo in this case, Save. Now, InDesign comes as a default set to high quality print. That's not what we need. What we need is press quality. Press quality. Now, once you've selected press quality from the down, drop down menu, every setting in there is exactly what we need or what you need to achieve a good print quality. You can do, you can be quite, you can really drill down and do some wonderful stuff in here, but this is all the basics you need. But what it doesn't do is the marks and the, the trim marks and the bleeds. All we really need and all most printers need is just the crop marks there. That's, uh, you, we don't need all the rest. All we need is the crop marks. We'll put all the rest on later when we're printing. And the tricky part here is the bleed. Now, some people come down and go, okay, I'll use the document bleed settings, thinking that will give them automatic bleed, but it doesn't. What you need to do is manually put in here your bleed. So I've, I use like five millimeters, so five, 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 done. And then we can export it to the PDF. Da, 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 while it does that, find where it's been saved. Go to text photo, and you can see here that the, and I'll just reduce this a bit so you can see it in the on screen. That's the um, the photo. You can see how far it's extending past. We've got bleed and we've got trim marks, so we know where to cut it. And that's it. That's done. That's how you do bleed and trim.